Hey dudes, my name is Blake Up, and I'm here to let you hear some of the new stuff I've been hearing while working on my game X Versa. Why so many hears? Well for me, a game feels really immersive when it has that sweet ambient audio that when you hear it, it really pulls you in, and it makes you feel like you're in a different world. I wanted to try to capture a little bit of that with X Versa, so here's what I've done so far. Alright, so there's a lot that goes into audio for a game, but for the most part, you can kind of break it into two different categories, sound effects and music. They both work together to build the mood of the current part of the game you're in, and changing the music or the sound effects can drastically change how a player feels when they play a certain part of the game. I mean, just think if Amnesia played this the whole time, instead of the spooky background noises. For one of my previous games, Kuro, which was a real-time text adventure horror game where you type commands and your player moves in real time, I tried to focus on spatial sound effects to build up the feeling of being in a dungeon. So for example, as you walk by torches, the fire sound gets louder and softer depending on how close you are, and monsters get louder when they get close to you. I wanted this to build up suspense, to make the player feel pressured into making their moves. Some of my favorite moments in games have happened purely because of the control of sound effects and music. Like when no music is playing, so you only hear the footsteps of your character before a big suspenseful moment. For a sound effect starting point in X Versa, I wanted to get a good footstep implementation so that I too can have some of those suspenseful moments. There are definitely some easy ways you could go about doing this. For example, a lot of games will just play a footstep sound on loop while the player is moving. This works, but I wanted something a little more immersive. So basically, I wanted a specific footstep noise to play depending on the type of ground tile a player is standing on. Also, I wanted the sound to play at the exact frame that the character's foot touches the ground. Alright, so what do I need first? Well, I definitely could use some footstep sound effects. You could probably find some on the interwebs for free, but I've normally found that sound effects have difficult licenses to abide by, so it's probably best just to make it yourself. So that's what I did for now. I went around my house and just found some things that I figured would sound like footstep sounds on different surfaces. So for dirt, I had a little model thing with some tiny gravel stuff in it, which sounded pretty decent. For the default walking sound, I just used some shoes and knocked them together. I wanted walking on metal to sound heavy, so I got a heavy metal thing and knocked a shoe on that, which seemed to sound okay. Once I had a bunch of different takes for each material, I brought them into Audacity to remove the background noise. Then I applied an EQ and some filters and separated each sound into its own file. I made about four versions for each material so that when a player is walking, you don't just hear the same sound over and over again. Okay, so I have my sound effects, so now I needed to get them into the game. To know which sound effect I needed to play, I needed a way to know what type of tile my character was standing on. So my first thought in Godot was that I hoped I could add a property to a specific tile in my tile set, to say what kind of surface material it is. Like if it's dirt, or grass, or an indoor tile. Well, unfortunately, at least with this version, there's not a way to add a property to a specific tile, because a tile isn't an object type in Godot. When I was searching to see how I could go about doing this, I found a thread on Godot's GitHub page, and it looked pretty promising. Some dude implemented tile properties, so it would do exactly what I wanted. So I excitedly scrolled through the thread, and in it, he kept it up to date for an entire year but it got closed because it was superseded by another issue thread that reworked tile maps and tile sets. So I scrolled through those, and it turns out the only part of the tile map and tile set rework that was missing was allowing for tiles to have different properties. So dang, that was the part I really wanted. 
Well, so Godot is open source, so why don't I just add it myself? Well, looking at the source code, it'd be fairly simple to add what I wanted, but then my version of the engine would be out of date, and when I pull new versions, it'd probably mess up a bunch of stuff. So how do I add tile properties without having to modify the source code? Well, there is a feature in Godot where you can add a script to a tile set, which adds new properties to the overall tile set. So I went ahead and just went with this approach. It's not really ideal, but it works, and I shouldn't have a problem updating Godot in the future. So basically, a tile set holds a bunch of different tiles. So the script I added to my tile set just has an array of tile surface materials. So if I have 21 tiles, then my array will have 21 drop-down boxes, where each drop-down box corresponds to a specific tile index. You can see which index a tile is by clicking on this little info button while in your tile set. That way, if a tile is a dirt tile, I can apply the dirt surface type to it. Alright, cool. I have a way to classify each tile as some type of surface material. So now I just need to call the specific sound effect when my character walks on top of a specific tile. I followed the advice of some of the comments on my previous video to switch my character to an animation player type instead of just a sprite. The reason I did this is because the animation player lets me do specific actions depending on which frame of an animation my character is in. So specifically, I want to call a function that plays the right sound effect depending on what tile my character is on right when the character's foot touches the ground. I created a little reusable footstep emitter object which follows the position of my character's feet when it's walking. So when my character's foot hits the ground on that specific frame, I call my emit footstep function, which then figures out which tile the character is on and plays a random sound so that it's the type of surface material the tile is. For now, I have about four different sounds for each type to mix it up a bit. The reason I use a different object for the footstep emitter is because in the future, I also want dirt to fly up and water to splash when a character is running on those types of tiles. And some characters have more than two legs. Okay, sweet. It's all coming together. So what does it actually look like? I arted up some new tiles to test it out. So here it is. When I walk on this metal part, it plays the metal footstep sound. If I run on the grass or dirt, it plays those footsteps. Otherwise, it just plays the default. I'm pretty happy with the result. I can always update the sound effects to sound a little better, but it seems to function pretty well, and it's just one more footstep towards having a more immersive game. So here's to that. Anyway dudes, that's all I got. See ya!